And now for the Net 10 Wireless Halftime Show. Welcome back to the Wells Fargo Arena for the Net 10 Wireless Halftime Show. Hello again to everyone. My name is Ari Wolf. So glad you've joined us for the Halftime Show. And each and every week, we're going to teach you a little bit about arena football in Arena Football 101. I bring in my man, Anthony Heron. Anthony, tonight, we break down the Nets. And when you're talking about the Nets, it can be a snap from scrimmage. It can be a special teams play. It can even be a field goal, you know, when you're talking about PATs as well. But the Nets are where things just go bonkers in the AFL. Let's take a quick look at the dimensions before we get into some telestration. Now, there in the middle is the area people know as the slack net, only nine feet wide as compared to over 18 feet wide in the outdoor game. Those two sections on the outside are the rebound nets, 32 feet by 30 feet. They are humongous, and you have no clue where the ball is going to go. Now, it is vital as a kick returner to catch the ball clean. And the height of the net is extremely difficult to judge. So you get a ball that can be over 24 feet in the air. You still have to try to catch it clean because when you do, it not only sets up the timing for you as a return man, but it makes the job of your blockers so much more easy. You see white jerseys there for San Jose in between their kick returner, Mervyn Brookins, and the coverage team. So he's got a lot more vision because he's timed it properly out of the end zone. And when you're as dangerous as all the kick returners in the AFL, it sets up great. Now, when you don't catch it clean, though, you see here, perfect position with vision on the football, but hits the ground. And now the coverage team can be that much more aggressive. You see tackles in the end zone. But for a quarterback on a snap from scrimmage, this is the cardinal sin. Throwing the football off the net, especially in the red zone. That's a live ball, people. So as a defensive back, perfect opportunity to try to get an INT. Now let's take you through some of the rules regarding the net. All kickoffs and field goals are live off the net. The slack net is only nine feet wide. Kicks out of bounds or over the net are placed at the 20 yard line. And the kick returner must attempt to field every kick in the longest field goal in AFL history, 63 yards. But the real chaos happens when the kicker manages to hit it not off the net, but off the iron. <laughs> and when you get a bar ball on a kickoff, on a field goal where the ball's still going to be live, things just go bonkers because that is another situation where the ball is live and you have no clue where it's going to bounce. That's what makes this game so fun.